I, I saw a stat the other day that if there about 660 players have signed with agents for this draft, and that's normal. That number is normally about 2,000. With, with guys being able to go back for an extra year of college, then let them go back. How is that going to affect the depth of this draft and the late rounds? Yeah, and we did a little analysis ourselves on, you know, the number of guys we wrote as a staff this year, and and we've written over. 800 players who, who have entered the draft and over 600 who have returned. So it, it correlates with those numbers. So, you know, as a whole, you focus on the players that you have ranked as draft prospects. And obviously those numbers will, will increase, you know, next year's, next year's stable of picks for that draft. But uh, right now it's a solid class overall with the numbers that we have. Rex, Rex, in that in that same light, when you guys are doing that analysis and, and when you come in to those numbers and, and we kind of come to that evaluation, do you start to think about maybe trying to flip some of the later picks that you have in this year's draft to later picks that are in next year's draft where things, uh, you know, knock wood should, should probably be a little bit more normal? Yeah, not trying to tip our hands, obviously, but uh, we put ourselves in a position for flexibility with the number of picks that we have this year and next year as well. So, you know, depending on the options we have when we're on the clock or moving forward throughout the draft, you know, we, we've given ourselves that freedom to move. Last year, the offensive line um, wasn't the best to struggle a little bit. Um, so from an offensive line standpoint, what are you looking for in, in prospects to help improve the offensive line um, to help out whichever quarterback you bring in? Cause you know, the better the offensive line is, the more time the running backs have to, you know, get through the holes, more time the quarterbacks got to throw the ball, et cetera. So what type of offensive linemen will you all be looking for? Yeah, so we've obviously changed scheme with with new staff and with Coach LaFleur coming in and Coach Benton. Uh, they're going to install the wide zone scheme. So we'll focus more on, you know, offensive linemen who, who fit in that in the future as we continue to build build the line. But we feel good about the group we currently have right now and their ability to make the adjustment to this new scheme. 